Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and here we have an Abus Titanium 98Ti70. It's an aluminium bodied shutter lock, not super high security, but yeah, not too low security anyway. The good thing about this lock is it has the extra class core, and uh, because the extra class core is in the padlock, it makes it two, three, four times harder to pick, genuinely. If you ever tried it, you'll know. Why? Well, first of all, look at the keyway. Let me get my curved pick and you'll see. So, well, here's a flat flag. If I put that in the keyway like this, you'll see that it can only go so far. Can you see that? Hard to get that right with the lighting um, because of this very, very zigzaggy keyway, all that warding. You do need to have something like this, a curved flag, to get all the way to the bottom of the keyway. Don't worry, you can just about make that out, but this curved flag um, can just about make it all the way down to the bottom of the keyway over that warding. Um, so yeah, if you want to get a sort of a, the highest cut possible, you need to really use a curved flag. There isn't many other options, in my experience anyway. The worst thing about this, is um, please go check out some videos that I've done on extra class cores that I've gutted. Uh, this one, there's no way to do it, I think, non-destructively. But the pins in there are really cool. They're spooled, I think they've got like a, a T-pin set up as well. Not easy by any means, but it makes it easier when you can turn the core one way. Um, where's my turning tool? Yeah turn the core one way, so ideally you turn it um, anti-clockwise, and then what I do is I use a flag and I pick clockwise like this. And that way you get that balance between you feeling where the counter rotation is and being able to just lighten up on the tension. But you don't get that, uh, well, you don't, you're just not that lucky on this lock. The only way to do it is you turn it clockwise and pick clockwise, which means you don't get that balance into play between um, feeling your spool pins and not feeling them, which makes it incredibly hard to get that feedback. You need to sort of float the tension manually. It's a pain, really is a pain. So, uh, you know, say a normal extra class core that you can tension it one way and pick the other way is a good, you know, seven out of 10, maybe eight out of 10 in terms of difficulty before we get into exotic locks. Um, it's definitely an, an eight, eight and a half out of 10 in difficulty when you try to pick it the same direction you're picking at this extra class call. If you disagree with me, absolutely fine. Let me know in the comments. Maybe you think these are easy. I personally think they're pretty challenging. Anyway, um, I'll grab a vice, we'll throw it in, we'll pick it and we'll uh, see what we get to. All right, see you in a second. Okay, we're in the vice and there's that key. I put some uh, a focus lock on the actual lock itself because uh, just going in and out of focus drives me and probably you mad. So uh, put some turning force on. You might think that's a weird way of putting the turning tool, but it's such a weird gnarly keyway that you just got to go with what sort of works. Pin one, two, nothing on three, a little bit on four. We got into a, a bit of a false set there and five and six. So got to be very careful coming back through this lock. One feels fine, two. Hmm, might need something deeper for two. Let's let's try that. One, one to two, come on two. Oh, I got it. But you'll notice that we haven't got back into that same deep full set, which means one, two, three, that. One. Something's not quite happy in, in the lock. I might just go in with that deeper curved hook again to see where it's pin one, no, pin two. There it goes, it's two, three, four, five. Six. But I'm not sure why it's not gone back into that deep full set yet. Might have overset saying, just gonna rock that tension a bit. And we, we can go back through, we can go back through, it's fine. Okay, pin one now. Good. Three, four, I think is the one which, um, there you go. Then it finds that, release some of that turning force. Five, 
same with six, release on the turning force, get the pick underneath the pin. There we go, good. And then, let's see whether pin two was fully set or not. I don't think it was. Okay, oh, I definitely dropped some pins there. So okay, we'll get it back. Go back to pins five and six. There we go. Back through, back through, back through. That's pin three, I think, but I'm gonna take that as a win, even though I dropped some pins. I think it needed to be set, even though it dropped a couple of pins at the back. The nature of this type of lock, there's pin six and one now. There we go. Okay, let's try going with that deeper hook, see what's what. Pin one feels good. Pin two now. Gotta do some manual cancer rotation, I think. There we go, got it, but, oh, 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 my pick almost got stuck. Okay, one, two, three, four. Uh, back through, this is five. Now, I've got to be very careful again, just got to make sure I'm in that deep false set. Make sure that I am being very careful not to drop any pins, but also get on top of the pins that need to be set, and we are open, look at that. Whew, that was hard. Um, might not have looked it, but that was genuinely difficult. Not an easy lock to pick. Um, it's a lot, lot easier when you can pick um, by tensioning the opposite way. I try and get it in focus for you. Uh, if you can turn it uh, the opposite way, so you're turning that way, you're turning anti-clockwise, then you're able to pick clockwise and you get that lovely balance between... Uh, uh, you just get a really good feel for the, the pins as they set or... Uh, get into a full set or you know it just you, you can feel it a lot better when you're turning into the pins and picking into the pins uh it just makes things maybe two three times harder i'd say but yeah that's an abus tetalium 98 ti70 um pretty great lock in in general um not particularly high security but just a fun lock to learn to pick even if it's a little bit difficult anyway if you like this video please leave a like if you've got any comments about picking one of these extra class cores um, the same way as you're tensioning it please leave your comments below i'd like to hear your horror stories as well i do read all the comments or reply to as many as i can um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing it really helps me out and of course i'll see you all next time